Hey guys, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to go back and kick it old school with a game called King Oil. King Oil is a game from 1974 from Milton Bradley, plays two to four players. And what you're trying to do in this is you're trying to be, well, King Oil. You're trying to buy up properties, you're trying to drill, trying to get the most derricks, you're trying to run pipelines into your opponent's properties, make them pay you money, all so you can make everybody go bankrupt. That's effectively the game. On your turn, you're gonna flip a card, you're gonna do what the card says, you're gonna spend some money to drill or not, buy some properties or not. Maybe lose some derricks to some fire or not. And that's it. Um, possibly buying some pipelines if you meet some criteria. So that's enough talking about it. Let's go to the table. Check it out. All right, so here's a game of King Oil, all set up for two players. To set up, you're going to give each player all the bits of a color. So we're going to have derricks, some sheds, some pipelines, and some caps. In this case, we have blue and white player. You're going to give each player $80,000 broken down in a certain denomination that's in the rule book. I already did that. Um, and then you're gonna each buy a starting property. So in this case, white bought plot 18, blue bought plot 10. And then whoever spends the most money will go first. So in this case, that's white. They spent 12,000, blue spent 10. So white will be first. So on your turn, the game is pretty straightforward. What you're trying to do is, you're trying to drill for oil to get money to eventually make pipelines into your opponent's um, plots of land, buy more plots of land, to ultimately make all the other people go bankrupt. So that's enough talking. So on your turn, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip one of these cards. So this is White's turn. So royalty, $2,000 per producing well. There's no producing wells right now, so we'll ignore that. You do all these things. Drill one to three wells. So let's go ahead and do that. So White can drill some wells. You're going to drill on your property. So on these holes is where I can drill. I can try to go outside of here. You can get a penalty if no one catch it, if someone catches you. But if they don't catch you, you can take over some land. I'm not going to do that because that's just jerky. But so I'm going to try to drill for some oil. For oil is what happens. All right. So if nothing pops up, which you can see nothing popped up, it's six thousand dollars, I believe. Let me make sure. Yep, six thousand dollars, and I have to cap it. So no oil in that well. So there's five, six. All right, so here's White's money. So that's $6,000, that's one well. I'm gonna drill all three. So there's that one, let me cap it. That one right there has a cap. I know it's a dead well. All right, then I'm gonna try to do this one in the water. That's a shallow well. So that one will be, or a, if one color is exposed, that means oil has been struck at the deep level. So that's a $6,000 well. So not a shallow, that's a deep well. So here's another 6000 So that's $12,000 for one well. That's not good. But we have a derrick coming in. So we'll put the derrick in with that where I just drilled. So derrick right there. And then I want to do one more. Let's go over here. All right, so that's a, a, a mid-weight, so that one's $4,000, because there's two colors showing. So we will do four grand, five, one grand. All right, so I drilled three. I got one that didn't have any oil, oh, and I have one that has, or two that have oil. All right, and then I go down here, I could buy some additional property if I wanted to, but at this point, I do not want to. And once you start drilling, you can take your little shed off because you know that that's your property. All right, so that was White's turn. Now we're gonna go to blue. And we're gonna flip. $500 for oil depletion allowance. So this player just gets $500. Nothing for wells. They can drill one well, so they'll do one. So let's go right here. That's a shallow well, so that's two grand. That works all day. So they'll pay two grand, and they will put a well, a derrick in there. All right, done. And then they can put this back because they know that's their property. 
All right, select white. Royalty for per producing well, a thousand. So they're gonna get two grand because they have two producing wells. And then they can drill one to three. They spent a lot of money last time, so they're just gonna drill one. And they'll drill two. Uh, six grand for nothing because nothing popped up. So that's not good. So there's one cap. One cap. And then we'll drill right here. Dang, another one. $6,000, another cap. Terrible piece of land right here. So that's four that I'll get back. All right, so there's that. And I forgot to cap it. I think it was this one. Yeah, all right. And there's one property for sale. I think I'm gonna try to get some new property because this piece of land is garbage. So I'm gonna take number 15. And that will be, what does that say? $8,000. So I'll put my, my shed on there. And I will spend eight grand. And I now have another piece of property. All right, so that was that. Now it's Blue's turn again. We'll flip. So they're gonna get 3,000 per producing well, so they'll get three grand. Okay, not too bad. All right, and then they can drill one to four. I think they're gonna do, they'll do two. We're gonna do two wells. So that's a, a medium. So that's gonna be a $4,000 one. Three, four. All right, so four grand for a Derek right there. And let's do this one. Same, four grand for that one. So we got two more wells from that one. All right, so that was a good turn. No property for sale, done. All right, so that's how the game is gonna play effectively. You're gonna keep drilling, trying to get some things. Another thing you can do on your turn, once you have four functioning derricks on your property, you can then pay to take a pipeline into an opponent's property. So say uh, Blue was here and they, drilled some wells here and I had a couple more over here like I was trying to do in my dead property so I had these over here like this on my turn I could buy a pipeline um, so I would pay 25 grand so say white would pay 25 grand I could do if I have 25 grand 10 20 one, two, three, four, five. All right, 25 grand. Then I would take one of these pipelines and I would take it into the opponent's territory like this. Now, what happens there is I'm gonna get royalties when it's their turn based on the number of pipelines into that property and the number of derricks they have in that property. So for one pipeline into an opponent's property, I would get $1,000 per derrick two pipelines into, an op into one opponent property, 3,000, three pipelines into one opponent's property, $5,000 per derrick. So that just gets insane. So here's kind of a grid on what you can do when you're building a derrick or when you're doing pipelines, how you're allowed to do that. It's just some examples because that's the most tricky part of the game. Um, and the only way to get another pipeline out of this property is I'd have to have five derricks. So I could do five, you know, and I could send another pipeline if there was an opponent over here. And then if I had six derricks, I could send another pipeline to this one, for example. And you can only have three coming out of a, a property. So once I did that, I would be tapped out. And this player could not then take a, a pipeline and go back into that property that's not allowed. So they'd have to go into this property or something else or come from another property into mine. So that's how the game's gonna play. You're gonna keep doing that until one player has the most money or all the money runs out and then whoever has the most money is the winner. Um, m more times than not, someone's gonna go bankrupt, especially in a two-player game. It kind of amps up pretty quickly because you're just going back and forth. 
Um, there are some bad cards in, in here as well. There's two of them, I believe. There's fire damage that's based on the number of, well, um, Derek's you have, you're going to lose some stuff, and that's bad. No one wants that. It doesn't give you any income, let you buy anything. It's just bad. So stay clear of that. So, yeah, that's the game. Uh, one other thing I didn't show you is it's it's got these gears down here at the bottom. It's going to change the board every game. So it's so much different types of randomness you can get. All the wells are going to be different heights. The dead wells are not are going to be in different places, and that's really cool. So that's King Oil. Let's go to the top see what they think about it. All right, well, that was King Oil. So, yeah, this game is great. This is a vintage game. Um, it's basically a flip and do roll and move game, but instead of this you're flipping a card and doing what the card says. But it's so satisfying drilling for oil, putting that that what that well down in the hole and seeing what happens. If no colors come up, three colors come up, that's the best. One color comes up, still great because you're getting oil, but it's more expensive. Just cool. Trying to get pipelines into your opponent's properties so you can make them start paying you. Getting multiple pipelines into opponent property so they pay you more. Just so fun uh yeah granted there's not a ton of decision space here it's a flip a card and do what it says but the way this board works by the randomizing which i showed in the playthrough where you can spin those gears in the side and it makes the board different every single time is incredible the board is the centerpiece of this game putting the oil well down in there try to drill see what happens so satisfying and fun this is probably not my favorite game in the world by any means i mean it's, monop it's effectively like Monopoly. You're trying to make people go bankrupt. But this is a thousand times better than that because at least it has some tactile and it's, it has a game. The, dr the dr drilling, which I've already talked about at least seven times, is just so good. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a BGM Accepted because it deserves that. Um, it's going to get a 7 out of 10 on BGG, which is a 3.5 out of 5 on an arbitrary rate scale. That means absolutely nothing. But I like to give it to games that I enjoy. Now, this is going to stay in my collection. It's hard to find. This box is beat all to shreds. You can see it here, it's dirty, nasty, but I don't care because this game is fun. Again, like I said, it's BGM accepted mostly because I enjoy playing with the board. The game is not really that great, but the board, doing the things on the board, drilling for oil, makes up for all the lackluster gameplay. So that's King Oil from Milton Bradley. I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics. And as always, keep gaming.